Greetings YouTube, Fury's Tomato, with some Smite, and Arena. Let's see, we've got three Magic Dealers and one Physical. So Physical would be preferred, but we could... Oh, there we go. Uh, two Physical, two Magic. I'm gonna go ahead and play Ymir. Uh, support roll, Guardian. A lot of people are reluctant to play Guardians, uh, since it's not a damage dealing role. Feels not as fun, I guess, but helps the team. So I signed up playing them quite a bit. It's Friday evening. I have a, an adult beverage here, so forgive the slurps and whatnot. And slurs, for that matter, eventually. If you're unfamiliar with Smite, it's a MOBA. It's one of the League of Legends, uh, team versus team. Anywhere between one and five players, depending on the mode that you're in. Uh, I like five different maps. Um, four of them are persistent, and one is a. Uh, they, they pull out once in a while, the old domination mode map. Uh, there's a conquest, which is kind of the traditional League of Legends, you know, three lanes, tiny at each end. Uh, there is Joust. Just set up for 3v3, a single lane, uh, and then a jungle, small jungle lane on each side, single lane down the middle with turret towers. Uh, Siege, which is their newest uh, map, and that has two lanes, one down each side, a relatively large jungle in the middle, and uh, Salt. Oh, so there, there are five, I'm sorry, so five persistent. Assault is a single lane, no jungle, and then this is Arena, of course. The crowds up there cheering. So let's see. Playing the guardian role. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my boots first. Uh, fine. Get my passive. Gotta have a blink. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and call out on the blink. One's my wall. Two's my like a uh, ice carpet. Three's a stun. It's a freeze. Does a cone pattern? You can see there. Take to my Go over here, get the buffs. If you're playing arena, uh, you take the blue buff, you should go out and defend. So you tell them, VDD. And, uh, I say, if you're not familiar with uh, Smite, they have that uh, VGS system, which is a code code system that you can use to communicate pretty effectively. Oh no. I'm gonna try and box Fenrir in, so that's that. Then I gotta get over here and try and just keep these guys from getting into the portal until my team uh, comes and cleans out. This is this. Oh my goodness, they're not going to. Arena, it's, it's all about uh, your minion count. So you can see they're in the red and the blue. We're at 479, 480 for them. And uh, you could effectively name the game Escort the Minions, and maybe people would get it. But the point is, is uh, we want to get our minions to that green portal down there. They want to get their minions in that red one. You lose. Point for any minion that makes it to your to your portal, and then uh, you lose five uh, tickets. You lose five tickets if uh, a player on your team is killed. Then there's a siege tower that you'll see eventually. That uh, is like 25 or 30 tickets, so those have to be a priority. So far, my team is as is typical quite often. 
you know, maybe a little more concerned with kills than with actually doing the objective of the game, which is the minions. We'll see. Go here. Do one of those. Kill some people. Protect my team. Keep, try and keep this guy from escaping. There's that uh, minions have reached your portal, and you can see my team. You know, predictably chasing, uh, chasing after a kill, rather than uh, taking care of those minions. Pretty typical. Um, if I had my ult up, I would, I would go ahead and blink in there, and uh, and, and all. But since it's not up. I'll just, I'll just run in. Oh, no good. As a guardian, it's, it's, it's. it's uh, if you're playing a guardian, it is your job to initiate combat, um, but you need to be aware of where your team is. I'm gonna try and no. couldn't do a whole lot. Um, in Odin's ult, I'm pretty limited, He's immune to CC and, and things like that. So I couldn't freeze and, and all that. So. So now we're working towards sovereignty, which gives you pretty good protection as well as providing protection for your teammates. So. Pretty close. Like I said, got to get this team to, to focus on on, on uh, the objectives, which is about these minions. I mean, for for me to to be kind of forced to do so is, is somewhat counterproductive. So I do so little damage that, uh, yeah, it's just it's kind of a waste. That's not what I'm here for. So let's see here. This thing is in. In there. Drop one of those. Drop my all. Try and save my my teammate there. Get my wall. Yeah, I'm running low. So I did what I could. There's all the siege towers I was referring to. A good team will, will focus on that. They'll still rally around it like uh, old school football players and and uh, trying to escort that in. So probably not going to have them for us. Try and get out there quicker. Save my teammate. Try and wall them off, prevent them from escaping, especially kill this Thor, because he's... there we go. Try and be a big fat body. Huge can, but, uh, you know, you can't win it single-handedly. It's just the way it is. As I said, you do what you can, try and run interference, provide, uh, CC, crowd control. Uh, just, just get in their way, and, uh, your team. I'm pretty low, so my team really needs to uh, to be to be helping here on this thing. And we have a healer. Oh, there she goes. Give me a heal. But yeah, they're not. They're, they're still. Minions have reached your portal. Defend the portal. So I'm say VDM, which is defend the portal. Still too worried about about kills. Oh, so close. You know what? Let's see if I can't. No, oh, she healed up. So at this point, and you can see my teammate down there chasing after three or four uh, of their teams. So I'll try and, try and give her the opportunity to get away. So, we got a kill there. Uh, potentially should not have. I mean,. One of those things. Alright, so I'm going to void stone. I'm just trying to uh, prevent Fenrir 
attacking with TP. We're doing all right. We're starting to, to pull a little bit ahead. Uh, like I said, my team just needs to, uh, to focus more on. Uh, uh, oh, that was that was my fault. Thor uses all there. I'm gonna say VSS. Oops. Sorry. Let's say sorry. She kind of died trying to save me, uh, which she did. Which is usually a bad deal. Uh, the assault, or the uh, support rather. That's somebody that, that you're not gonna die for. It's, uh, they're kind of uh, not really meant to die, but they're, you know, you, you want your. Uh, Alright, I'm getting low. Gotta get back. Gotta miss Q there with my wall. That's the probably the toughest part of playing Ymir, is uh, learning how to use his wall effectively. What I was saying about the, uh, the Void Stone, this item right here, gives you magic power, magic protection, reduces the magic protection nearby enemies. So, great item. If you're gonna be playing as a guardian, that's a support role. So, we're gonna try to block. There we go. That's a great way to, you know, that's how you want to use a wall. Uh, prevented Aphrodite from getting, being able to heal him. And, uh... <laughs> I love it. Thanks. VVT, thanks. Uh, so it's just like you just wait for him to kind of do his thing. Um, that was bad on my part. Little deterrence there. Uh, if I can get them to focus on me, it means they're not focusing on uh, damage dealers. Which, hey, that's the point, right? That's why you play a, a tank. So I'm gonna try and... What I'll try and do is... Yeah. Well, at this point, I'm just trying to save him, get between the two of them. But I have no mana. Yeah. Some VVM? Sorry, buddy. I was out of mana. So here, I'm just going to try and use my teammates, try and throw a wall down, impede his progress a little bit, maybe make it in alive? Yeah. So, it's time to get Pestilence, it's going to reduce their healing, uh, since they, they have a health, it's a great healer, that should uh, help us out quite a bit. As you can see, we're doing pretty well, 221, 177. Uh, Honestly, I have probably more kills than I than I should for being a, a support, but a lot of that just has to do with the better positioning. And he's immune to the that. Oh. Okay. So as they should, they're kind of ignoring me a little bit. I'm going all in here. See, he can't get out of his own ult. Um, I mean, he could. He just doesn't understand how to cancel it. So I'm trying. Oh, Thor did well there. Uh, by uh, using his hammer throw, he can he can uh, teleport to his hammer by pressing the button again before it, it returns to him. Once again, just kind of run interference. Just get between him, take the hits, let my guys uh, do their stuff. But I am out of mana. So BVM, BVP. The BGS system is great. Um, you learn it pretty quick. And I mean, there's still quite a few codes that I do not know. I'm gonna go ahead and work to get my breastplate of valor. The cooldown reduction is great. Retreat. And uh, gives me some physical protection. Alright, so 
and say VDM. Defend the portal. Defend the portal. I cannot kill this myself within the next half hour. So I hit for pretty much nothing. So I'm just gonna stand here and block it and let my teammates kill it. So this right here alone would, would bring us real close to being even. So this is a priority. Alright, now we can get back to doing what we do. He doesn't do much damage to me. Immortal. Uh, what we got here? Alright, doing alright. I think we had a uh, one for three there. Nothing wrong with that. Doing very well. We have to really script at this point to lose. So I'm just gonna do what I can to escort these minions in. Just get in the way. And at this point, I'm going to die because you can see my whole team just kind of standing there watching me die. Unfortunate. Kind of happens. Alright, so got press point of valor. And you can see here my physical protections at 282. It caps at two, uh, 325. Anything beyond that's kind of a waste. So 206 and magical. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for some more magical. Sona guys get a great item. Here's your good magical. I'm also gonna go ahead and cap out my greater blink. Notice there's two different blinks there. The greater blink is a much shorter cooldown, 45 seconds. Uh, I tried to try to get the try to get Thor there. So I use my blink. You can see it's uh, anyhow the, t the two blinks. There's a greater blink and a combat blink. The combat blink is a hundred like a hundred and eighty second cooldown. So it's. Uh, She's using as an escape. Uh, for Ymir, the, the greater blink is uh, to initiate. Yeah, just kind of like some interference. Try and block these guys out. I don't know if uh, it'll do any good. At least maintains uh, their focus on me, rather than. Uh, so as soon as I get out of here, I want to blink and all. Try and get some damage on. So my teammate should be on top of that, but it's all right. They're escorting the, the siege tower, which is fine. Trying to hide a new wasp fog there for a minute, but. You're doing well. That's the game. 81 tickets to zero. Uh, 5, 2, and 29 as a guardian support role. I'll take that every time. Ymir's good. He's a fun guy to play. Very effective. Uh, just need to practice with his wall. He can be your best friend or your worst enemy because you can prevent your team from getting a kill. You can put the wall just a hair too close and you can put it between yourself and your enemy who's almost dead. And, uh, Kind of annoy your team and yourself. Get frustrated. It's anyhow. Um, let's see. My damage was reasonable for being full tank. And yeah, five two twenty nine for me. Two four and nine for their Ymir. So I won. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below, good or bad, and uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you.